Take me back to those first moments that you decided that courting Cliff Kingsbury was the right move for the organization. What first attracted you to him? Well, I think his on-field performance, you know, over the uh, eight years that he was an offensive coordinator and head, head coach, he developed great quarterbacks. Uh, his uh, average points per game was over 37 points per game uh, as a play caller. We knew that we needed, especially with the pendulum swinging in the NFL towards an offensive driven league, we've got to take advantage of that and we've, we've got to lock in our play caller. Because under the NFL rules, if you've got a play caller and he's not your head coach, like BA was, like Bruce Arians was, somebody can hire him away to be their head coach. So w we wanted to focus on offense, we wanted to build around offense, and we wanted to get back to 3-4 defense. So we, we talked to Cliff and many other qualified candidates, but we felt like the best fit was, was Cliff Kingsbury and that we would hit the ground running. He is one of the brightest offensive minds in football, and for us to get him was a big win for us, and uh, I'm looking for, forward to a lot of wins on the field. You're not one of those owners that sits in isolation far away from the inner workings of a franchise. You're actually at practices and watching these guys compete. What have you seen from the new additions this year that has you excited? Well, I think a lot of the, we're going to have uh, probably three or four of these draft choices that will be starting or, or, or definitely playing uh, important roles for us uh, on Sundays. I think the tempo that they bring, the positive energy that, that is in our building, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And, um, and, and, and it, that everybody is, is, is following the leadership of the leaders that we brought in. Kyler on offense, but also Larry on offense. You look at um, you know Chandler Jones returning, he, great leader, Patrick Peterson, but we've also got T. Sizzle, Terrell Suggs, who's, who's brought a lot of leadership and is, uh, he's been really impressive. Uh, Jordan Hicks, uh, Robert Alford, we've got a lot of talent, and I'm excited to see what, what is gelling together. And we'll see it uh, in, in the preseason, but I'm really looking forward to it in regular season. If you had to in some way quantify your dedication to bringing a Super Bowl to Arizona that you're playing in, not hosting necessarily, right, right. but the Vince Lombardi trophy in your hand hoisted above everyone at State Farm Stadium, where on the spectrum would you put that? Well, what is the spectrum? You mean so let's say zero to 100 on the 120. I knew I mean, it was going to yeah, break the, yeah. the spectrum. How yeah, did I know? I mean, the, the, the deal is <laughs> I, there, there's, this is what I get up and do every day. And, you know, you can't control the injuries and things like that. Um, but we're trying to make the best decisions. And, and I think we made a bunch of them in 2019. I think everybody recognizes that. There were wholesale changes with our organization. We made some very bold and aggressive moves. And it is all about winning the, the Super Bowl. And I want to win a home game, a Super Bowl as well, because we've got one coming here in a couple of years, a few years. And uh, I'm looking forward to having a competitive team that has a chance to compete and win that game. And then we'll have a big parade down uh, Central Avenue here in Phoenix and uh, have a ton of fun. I've got a desk on the seventh floor. Great view of the street up there. Perfect. Thank Perfect. You so much, Thanks man. so much, Thanks so much, Paul.